was awkward. <laughs> Good morning. It's 10.30, but this is actually early for me on the weekend because I like to get up at noon or last week when I got up at 1.30. <laughs> so, fun fact, I have to open my blinds like this every morning. I have to scrunch them up and then I have to put this box here and then I have to clip them all because, oh my God, I look like a lion. All because in early December, I was in bed and my dad came in to wake me up and I asked him if he could open the blinds for me. And he said, sure. And he came over and grabbed the string and pulled it and the whole string came out. <laughs> and now my blinds don't open. Like they literally don't open on there. I have to push them up. That's fun for me. Everyone loves me too and now it's 3, 3 a.m. Thinking what if it's you and me At the end, maybe we'll be okay I know that you're coming back home Know that you're coming back home <coughs> Hey guys, it's cool it's Cora welcome back to my channel so in today's video I thought I would literally just take you guys along with me on a typical weekend day in my life with kind of an emphasis on winter in Wisconsin because listen I see all these people and they're like going to the beach on the weekends like it, like life doesn't really change through the seasons for a lot of people because they live in warm climates that never change but in Wisconsin it's such a big difference between like a weekend in the fall versus versus a weekend in the winter. I wanted to kind of show you guys like what it's like to live somewhere that's freezing cold and has like five inches of snow. Basically it's just a day of my life in Wisconsin in the winter. I have got my breakfast. I've been eating oatmeal every morning ever since my intestinal issues that I told you guys about. But basically it's just oatmeal and then I put peanut butter in it as well as bananas and cinnamon and it's so good, so good. I've actually been making overnight oats a lot and I love those too, like those are amazing. But I didn't make them last night be hello. Ah. I didn't make them last night because I wanted to be able to show you guys how I make my breakfast. I'm going to eat now and while I'm eating, I'm going to watch The Vampire Diaries. See you after I eat. Okay, I'm done eating breakfast and now I'm going to get dressed. I don't really know what I want to wear. Probably a sweater, I guess. For my outfit today, I'm wearing this Rolling Stones t-shirt from Princess Polly and the yoga pants from Old Navy that were in my Emma Chamberlain video. I'm gonna do my hair and makeup now. I'm not gonna do much makeup, but as you guys can tell, I did cut my hair. Well, I didn't, my hairdresser did. I cut six and a half almost like inches off my hair. I was feeling spontaneous. I also got layers for the first time because I just wanted my hair to be more fun, have more volume, and I definitely love it. That is why I'm so excited that Duval is actually partnering with me on this video. I actually worked with Duval a couple months ago. I can't remember exactly when it was, but that was for their spinning skincare brush. They actually also sell styling tools, which is so awesome because I've had my own curling iron for a while, but it's not really that good. <laughs> but I've never had my own hair straightener and I'm gonna be going to college next year. So I thought it was important to have my own. So they sent me their hair straightener. So I'm going to straighten my hair. What's so great about this straightener is that the floating tourmaline ceramic plates that are inside of the hair straightener prevent the hair straightener from tugging at your hair at all and just make it so much easier in general to style your hair. Tourmaline coating actually locks in your hair's moisture and seals the cuticle level so that your hair doesn't undergo any heat damage. And you can control the temperature on this so it goes from 140 degrees Fahrenheit to 450 degrees Fahrenheit and that ensures that you have even and precise styling. I think I'm gonna go at about like 350. You guys can actually use Use my code Cora and get 70% off their styling tools. Yup, you heard that right, 70% off. That means that you guys can get any of their styling tools for $28.50. You're really not gonna wanna miss this opportunity. I'm not even, I'm not even playing with you guys. You do not wanna miss this opportunity. I look so good. I don't have many actual plans today other than going sledding with my friends. Ooh, and look how good that looks. Oh my God, it literally looks so good. Also, I'm sorry that the lighting is always 
always bad when I film here. It's because my windows are really high and so the light comes like down. It's not, not the ideal situation. For my eyebrows, I think I've talked about this before but I literally just use the e.l.f. hair gel because I'm content with the color of my eyebrows. It's just like the shape annoys me. And for mascara, I use the Glossier Lash Lift. I don't know what to do. I literally cannot fix this. It literally looks like I'm dead and I just drove into the light. Now we're phone vlogging because, oh, girl really did not. Okay. Well, here you go. This is what you get. So. Oh, hey. Hey. Look, that's not even bad. Well, after that fiasco, this is where we're at. <laughs> I am losing my mind. I don't know what is going on. I used to work in a drive-thru, fun fact. Fun facts with Cora. And then- Anything else for you? Yeah, do you have any cake pops? Yeah, the birthday cake pops? Yeah. Okay. Just one How of those. would you like? Just one? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> do you guys ever want to die? Because me too. That was awkward. Oh yeah, I also got a cake pop. I probably shouldn't have done that, but girl, let me tell you. I was craving a cake pop. And you know what? I think that if I'm craving a cake pop, I should just be able to get the cake pop. It is not going to fall. I'm manifesting that you're not going to fall. Ugh. Okay, I literally just went in part because like... I just want to talk to you guys. I just want to talk to you guys. I talked about this on my Instagram story. Basically, I was just feeling super down because it's almost been a year of being in quarantine, which is crazy. And like a lot of people are in college or people like are seeing their friends, which like they shouldn't be, but like they are. And so people still have like variety to their days and like there's none to mine. Like I do the same thing every day and it's been that way for a year almost. So it's really hard for me to have the motivation to vlog because I'm like, no one wants to see that. Like I'm doing the same thing every day i think this is what has me in a rut right now is that i quit my job in may and i made youtube my job which you'd think would be like really nice during quarantine like you can just like make videos all the time but the thing is is that when my job is filming my life and my life doesn't change you see how this is a problem? So that's what I'm currently having trouble with is just like figuring out how to make my channel remain interesting even if my life isn't. And it's really hard. That's why I just want quarantine to be over. Just want quarantine to be over because oh my gosh, what I would give to be able to make a travel vlog right now. We actually were going to fly to LA after I got into Chapman. We've never seen it. And so obviously by May 1st, I have to choose where I'm going to school. And that's really stressing me out because I've never seen, oh my God, USC or Chapman and so we figured like just after thinking about it more like I just felt selfish like even thinking about doing that I know so many people are traveling right now people are going to Florida and like all these places and like I get it like flights and airlines like they're open but like it's more for like essential travel even though that is kind of essential it's not essential essential like I don't need to go to LA like I can do tours online and like LA is one of the worst counties in the world I don't want anyone to get upset with me and I would get upset with myself honestly if I went because because it's selfish like at the end of the day it's selfish and sometimes it's okay to be selfish and okay to do things that I feel like are the best for my future and like going to tour those schools would probably be best for my future because a lot of people say they found out what college they were gonna decide to go to when they visited the campus because they felt it like they had this feeling that was like this is where I'm supposed to be and what if I never get to see the campus and then I choose to go there and then I go there and I'm like this isn't where I'm supposed to be you know but yeah so that's my dilemma right now so we were thinking about going this month or next month month but I think we've pretty much scratched that off the table because I don't in this situation I don't want to be selfish especially going to LA where literally hospitals are at full capacity like I don't want to be selfish and go there like I just don't so hopefully we'll be able to fly maybe in March or April and go visit anyways I'm going to drive back home and oh maybe I can show you guys what it looks I'll show you guys what the snow looks like right now as you can see there's a lot of snow um it's actually snowing right now but I'll show you guys the other night me and my family made a snowman so i'll show you that when i get back home oh my god it's bright okay bye so here's our snowman my mom made a snow dog too i think its eyes fell off okay so i'm back home and i'm about to bullet journal because i've been meaning to make a spread for books i want to read this year i'll show you guys what i've done so far in my bullet journal i'm actually pretty happy with it so first i just have some 2021 goals i haven't written a ton there and then i'm writing down all the movies i watch in 2021 okay next like tv shows i'm gonna write down all the tv shows i watch in 2021 and rate them affirmations manifestations for 2021 obviously i haven't started it yet but and then my money tracker okay i'm gonna like <laughs> basically it's just like a money tracker for 2021 so the money i made and spent youtube video ideas Ooh, don't want to cover them up and then i'm just gonna make a book spread so i'm gonna work on that i'll do a time lapse and i'm gonna watch vampire diaries while i do it 
Okay, I just finished making the list of all the ones I want to read. Through TikTok, I've discovered that the only books I ever want to read ever are enemies to lovers. That's all I want to read. Sorry. But if you guys have any enemies to lovers recommendations, comment them down below because pretty much that's the only books I want to read. Same with like movies. If you have any enemies to lovers movies recommendations, anything like that, let me know. It's lunchtime. <laughs> I have leftover Thai food. So that's what I'm going to be eating. Okay, I just changed and I put on this crew neck and leggings because I'm about to go sledding and I'm gonna be wearing snow pants So I wanted like leggings. I wanted leggings on. I'm not gonna bring my camera with me I'm just gonna vlog on my phone. So let's switch cameras Ayo, no pant check. Let's get this show on the road. <laughs> okay, I'm here. I see Sky, So I'm about to go meet her. I already have to pee <laughs> It's been two minutes. <laughs> We're just going to deal with it Okay, here I go, I guess. Oh no. I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> Sky, I'm coming down to meet you. I'm so scared for her. I literally looked like she was dying the first time. Like what if she dies and then I'm like, oh I have it on camera. Okay, do it. Drop the bomb! You got this. Oh my god. You got this. Okay guys, I'm about to go work out. I wanted to show you guys this workout set I got because I got it for Christmas and it's like my favorite thing ever. It's from Amazon, I'll link it down below, but it's literally so comfortable and it makes me wanna work out 10 times more. Anyways, I know I'm not looking my greatest, but I wanted to explain my workout to you guys before I went down and did it because I'll do like a time lapse of me working out, but my dad's down there watching football and vacuuming and it's loud, so I'm not gonna be able to talk. But basically for my workouts, I've been doing Lauren Geraldo's 12-30-20 workout routine. It's my favorite thing in the world. I've been doing it for like two months now It's basically where you go on the treadmill at speed 3 incline 12 for 30 minutes It's definitely super hard, but I really recommend it I personally don't have the patience for working out for like an hour So I love this because it's really high intensity, but you get it over in half the time It burns 300 calories in 30 minutes. So I'm gonna go do that and then also I do some like ab and butt workouts So eh, let's do this you should have seen the way that you 30 minutes and almost 300 calories later, I look like this. <sighs> now I'm going to do some butt workouts and maybe some abs. I haven't really decided. Okay, I'm done working out. I'm going to get dressed and wash my face and stuff because I always feel disgusting after I work out. But I just showered yesterday. I don't really feel like showering. We're also eating dinner in 10 minutes, so I might shower later tonight. But for now, I'm just going to put some clothes on and get ready to eat dinner. We are having uh, broccoli and sesame beef. Sesame beef broccoli, I believe. Good. There's a nice glaze sauce there on those. A Siri Bob. And we've got our basmati rice that I'm pretty excited about. Uh, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Let's do, I'm going to be dishing out my dinner. What? Mmm. Yes, sir. You excited? Yep. Thank you. Just think about it right now. Everything's okay. No matter where find yourself no matter what kind of stuff is going on in your life oh you guys i'm not going to bed but i just want to say that i love you all thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed what it's kind of like sort of on a day-to-day -day basis living in wisconsin in the winter i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys next time